Diplomacy is a strategic board game created by Alan B. Kalhamer in 1954 and released commercially in 1959. Its main distinctions from most board wargames are its negotiation phases players spend much of their time forming and betraying alliances with other players and forming beneficial strategies and the absence of dice and other game elements that produce random effects. Set in Europe in the years leading to the Great War, diplomacy is played by two to seven players, each controlling the armed forces of a major European power or, with fewer players, multiple powers. Each player aims to move his or her few starting units and defeat those of others to win possession of a majority of strategic cities and provinces marked as supply centers. On the map, these supply centers allow players who control them to produce more units. Following each round of player negotiations, each player can issue attack orders and take control of a neighboring province when the number of provinces adjacent to the attacking province that are given orders written down and declared in advance to support the attacking province exceeds the number of provinces adjacent to the province under attack that are given orders to support the province under attack. Diplomacy was the first commercially published game to be played by mail PBM, only chess, which is in the public domain, saw significant postal long distance play earlier. Diplomacy was also the first commercially published game to generate an active hobby scene with amateur fanzines, only science fiction, fantasy and comics fandom saw fanzines earlier. Competitive face-to-face -face diplomacy tournaments have been held since the 1970s. Play of diplomacy by email PBEM has been widespread since the late 1980s. Diplomacy has been published in the United States by Games Research, Avalon Hill, and Hasbro. The name is currently a registered trademark of Hasbro's Avalon Hill division. Diplomacy has also been licensed to various companies for publication in other countries. Diplomacy is also played on the internet, adjudicated by a computer or a human game master. In its catalog, Avalon Hill advertised diplomacy as John F. Kennedy and Henry Kissinger's favorite game. Kissinger described it as his favorite in an interview published in a games magazine. Authors Isaac Asimov and Ray Bradbury, and American broadcast journalist Walter Cronkite were also reported to be fans of the game. British journalist, broadcaster, and former member of Parliament and Cabinet Minister Michael Portillo is known to have played the game whilst studying at Harrow County School for Boys. History The idea for diplomacy arose from Alan B. Kalhamer's study at Harvard of 19th-century European history under Sidney B. Fay inter alia, and from his study of political geography. The rough form of diplomacy was created in 1954, and its details were developed through playtesting until the 1958 map and rules revisions. Kalhamer paid for a 500-game print run of that version in 1959 after rejection by major companies. It has been published since then by Games Research in 1961, then a 1971 edition with a revised rulebook, Avalon Hill in 1976, by Hasbro's Avalon Hill Division in 1999, and now by Wizards of the Coast in 2008 in the USA, and licensed to other board game publishers for versions sold in other countries. Among these are Parker Brothers, Waddington's Games, Gibson's Games, Asmodee Editions. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Basic setting and overview. The board is a map of 1914 Europe plus portions of Western Asia and North Africa. It is divided into 56 land regions and 19 sea regions. 42 of the land regions are divided among the seven great powers of the game, Austria, Britain, France, Germany, Italy, Russia, and Turkey. The remaining 14 land regions are neutral at the start of the game. 34 of the land regions contain supply centers, corresponding to major centers of government, industry or commerce e.g. Vienna and Rome. 22 of these are located within the great powers and are referred to as home supply centers. The remaining 12 are located in provinces which are neutral at the start of the game. The number of supply centers a player controls determines the total number of armies and fleets a player may have on the board, and as players gain and lose control of different centers, they may build raise, or must remove disband, units accordingly. The land provinces within the great powers which contain supply centers are generally named after a major city in the province e.g. 
London, Moscow, while the other land provinces within the Great Powers are generally named after a region, e.g., Bohemia, Apulia. Neutral land provinces are generally named after countries, e.g., Serbia, Belgium. Finland and Syria are both parts of Great Powers as Finland was part of the Russian Empire and Syria was part of the Ottoman Empire in 1914. Tunis is used rather than Tunisia on most boards and North Africa is a single province covering parts of Algeria and Morocco. Although for game purposes the game starts in 1901, the map generally reflects the political boundaries of Europe in 1914 just before the outbreak of the Great War, with Bosnia already annexed to the Austro-Hungarian Empire, and the Balkans reflecting the results of the wars of 1912 and 1913 in the region except that Montenegro is shown as part of Austria-Hungary. On the other hand, North Africa and Tunis start the game as neutral, despite these regions being part of the French colonial empire in 1914. All players other than Britain and Russia begin the game with two armies and one fleet, Britain starts with two fleets and one army, and Russia starts with two armies and two fleets making it the only player to start the game with more than three units. Only one unit at a time may occupy a given map region. Balancing units to supply center counts is done after each game year two seasons of play, spring and autumn. At the beginning of the game, the 12 neutral SCs are all typically captured within the first few moves. Further acquisition of supply centers becomes a zero-sum dynamic with any gains in a player's resources coming at the expense of a rival. Topic. Comparison with other war games. Diplomacy differs from the majority of war games in several ways. Players do not take turns sequentially, instead all players secretly write down their moves after a negotiation period, then all moves are revealed and put into effect simultaneously. Social interaction and interpersonal skills make up an essential part of the game's play. The rules that simulate combat are strategic, abstract, and simple—not tactical, realistic, or complex as this is a diplomatic simulation game, not a military one. Combat resolution contains no random elements. No dice are rolled, no cards are drawn. Each military unit has the same strength. It is especially well suited to postal play, which led to an active hobby of amateur publishing. Internet diplomacy is one of the few early board games that is still played on the web. Gameplay Diplomacy proceeds by seasons, beginning in the year 1901, with each year divided into two main seasons, the spring and autumn fall moves. Each season is further divided into negotiation and movement phases, followed by retreat or disband adjustments and an end-of-the-year winter phase of new builds or removals following the autumn adjustments. Topic. Negotiation phase In the negotiation phase, players communicate with each other to discuss tactics and strategy, form alliances, and share intelligence or spread disinformation about mutual adversaries. Negotiations may be made public or kept private. Players are not bound to anything they say or promise during this period, and no agreements of any sort are enforceable. Communication and trust are highly important for this strategy game. Players must forge alliances with others and observe their actions to evaluate their trustworthiness. At the same time, they must convince others of their own trustworthiness while making plans to turn against their allies when least expected. A well-timed betrayal can be just as profitable as an enduring, reliable alliance. Cheating can be a large part of certain diplomacy games. Some hosts allow for players to submit false copies of sheets for other players, thus changing their moves. This only works if the person who has their moves replaced is not paying attention when the host is reading out the moves. <laughs> <laughs> Movement phase After the negotiation period, players write secret orders for each unit, these orders are revealed and executed simultaneously. A unit can move from its location to an adjacent space, support an adjacent unit to hold an area in the event of an attack, support another unit to attack a space into which it could move itself, or hold defensively. 
In addition, fleets may transport armies from one coast space to another when in a chain called a convoy. Armies may only occupy land regions, and fleets occupy sea regions and the land regions that border named seas. Only one unit may occupy each region. If multiple units are ordered to move to the same region, only the unit with the most support moves there. If two or more units have the same highest support, a standoff occurs and no units ordered to that region move. A unit ordered to give support that is attacked has those orders cancelled and is forced to hold, except in the case that support is being given to a unit invading the region from which the attack originated. Certain countries on the board have two coasts and if this is the case a player must specify which one of the coasts he wants his fleet to occupy. A fleet of a specific coast can only move to coasts and oceans that border the coast that it is on. For example, a fleet occupying the southern coast of Bulgaria cannot move into Romania or the Black Sea, but a fleet on the east coast could. Topic: <inaudible> End of year and supply centers. After each autumn move, newly acquired supply centers become owned by the occupying player, and each power's supply center total is recalculated. Players with fewer supply centers than units on the board must disband units, while players with more supply centers than units on the board are entitled to build units in their home centers supply centers controlled at the start of the game. Players controlling no supply centers are eliminated from the game, and if a player controls 18 or more, that is, more than half of the 34 SCs, that person is declared the winner. Players may also agree to a draw. This also happens when infrequent stalemates occur. Variants <inaudible> 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 Several board games based on diplomacy have been commercially published. Additionally, many fans of the game have created hundreds of variants of their own, using altered rules on the standard map, standard rules on a different map, or both. <laughs> Rulebook provision for fewer than seven players The rules allow for games with two to seven players, closing parts of the standard board, but these are used only in casual play, and are not considered standard diplomacy in tournament, postal, or most forms of online play. For example, if there are six players, everyone plays one country and Italy is not used, for five players, Italy and Germany are not used. The original rules did not include additional guidelines, but the Avalon Hill set included suggestions, such as individual players using multiple countries, and additions. Another approach to solving the problem of fewer than seven players is the use of the escalation variant rules by Eddie Burson. Players start with no pieces on the board. Players put one piece down on the board in any province one at a time, starting with the youngest player. After reaching the maximum number of pieces the players start the game with ownership of their starting provinces. At the end of autumn 1901 with their adjustments players write down their three home centers for the rest of the game, this is done without negotiations and may result in two players declaring the same province. However, in order to build there they still must own it and the province must be open. Players may choose any supply center as a home for example, Edi, Den, Rom. It is suggested that for the number players the following starting pieces are used 2 12 units 3 8 units 4 minus 6 units 5 5 units 6 4 units it is also suggested that for games with 2 to 4 players that the gunboat rule applies which means that there are no discussions for 4 or 5 players it is suggested that the wilson or public press rule applies which means that all discussions must take place in the open at the table with no whispers or secret signals for 5 or 6 players it is suggested that regular negotiation rules apply the following are the current official suggestions topic <laughs> alternative way to play The following is an alternative way to play the game of diplomacy when fewer than seven players are present. Six players, eliminate Italy. Italian units hold in position and defend themselves, but don't support each other. Units belonging to any of the players can support them in their holding position. If Italian units are forced to retreat, they're disbanded. Five players, eliminate Italy and Germany as described for Italy above. 
Four players, one player plays Britain, and the other three play the following pairs, Austria, France, Germany, Turkey, and Italy, Russia. Three players, one player controls Britain, Germany, Austria, the second, Russia, Italy, and the third, France, Turkey. Or one player plays Britain, Austria, one plays France, Russia, one plays Germany, Turkey. In this version Italy is not played. Three players alternative, one person plays Russia while the other two control Britain, France, Germany and Austria, Italy, Turkey. Two players, this version can be played as a World War I simulation. One player controls Britain, France, Russia while the other plays Austria, Germany, Turkey. Italy is neutral and Italian territory can't be entered. The game begins in 1914. Before the autumn 1914 adjustments, flip a coin. Italy joins the winner of the toss in spring 1915. The first player to control 24 supply centers wins. This is also a way for two new players to learn the rules. In games for two, three, or four players, supply center ownership is computed for each individual country, even though the same person plays more than one country. As with the regular rules, adjustments must be made by each country in accordance with its supply center holdings. Topic. Commercially published diplomacy variants There have been six commercially released variants of diplomacy — Machiavelli, Kamakura, Colonial Diplomacy, Hundred, Ard Re and Classical. Imperial is a board game with enough similarities to be described as a diplomacy variant by some. Topic. Machiavelli. Machiavelli was published by Battleline Publications, later taken over by Avalon Hill. Set in Renaissance Italy, the board is controlled by the Republic of Florence, the Republic of Venice, the Duchy of Milan, the Kingdom of Naples, the Papacy, Valois France, Habsburg Austria, and the Ottoman Turks. The game introduces many rules changes such as money, bribery, three seasons per year, garrisons, and random events such as plague and famine. It features scenarios tailored for as few as four and as many as eight players. Topic. Kamakura Kamakura was published by West End Games in the early 1980s. Its setting is feudal Japan. Topic. Colonial diplomacy Published by Avalon Hill in 1994. It is set in Asia in the late 19th century, and much of the board is controlled by various colonial powers, the United Kingdom, the Russian Empire, the Empire of Japan, Holland, Ottoman Empire, China, and France. The game introduces three special features. The Trans-Siberian Railroad extends across Russia from Moscow to Vladivostok. The railroad can be used by Russia to move armies anywhere along the railroad. The TSR may only be used by Russia. Russian armies are allowed to move through other Russian armies, but foreign armies can block the passage of armies on the TSR. The Suez Canal is the only way to move between the Red Sea and Mediterranean Sea. Use of the Suez Canal is controlled by whoever is in control of Egypt. The use of the Suez Canal increases in importance later in the game as expansion becomes both more important and more difficult. The ownership of Hong Kong counts as a supply center for any country except China. This map was used as the basis of the Imperial Asia expansion map. Topic: 100. 100 is a map for 3 players by Andy D. Schwartz based on the 100 Years War created in 1996 and published by Stupendous Games in 2000. Topic. Ard Re Ard Re is a map by Stuart John Bernard based on pre-Christian Ireland though it anachronistically includes Vikings, created in 1998, and published by Stupendous Games in 2000. Ard Re happens to also be the name of a Nephitophel variant played in ancient Ireland. Topic. Classical. 
Classical is a map by Andy D. Schwartz and Vincent Moss based on the ancient world after the death of Alexander the Great, created in 1998, and published by Stupendous Games in 2000. <laughs> Diplomacy of the Three Kingdoms Based on the Three Kingdoms in ancient China, it was created by Eddie Burson to introduce the basic ideas of the main game to a Chinese audience with a setting more close to their own historical experience. It was published by MJS Creations in 2008. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Diplomacy variants not commercially published. A wide range of other variants of diplomacy have been created and played without being commercially published. These include settings such as the ancient and renaissance world. Some variants use new maps and rules, whilst others simply vary the original game, such as the Fleet Rome variant which replaces the starting Italian army in Rome with a fleet. One of the most notable non-commercially published is the Youngstown variant which is an extension of the normal map, including Asia and colonies there. For example, in addition to the usual home centers, France starts with a fleet in Saigon in Cochinchina. Three new powers were added, India, China, and Japan, with powers without historical Asian colonies being given more home centers. The variant was named after the city of Youngstown, Ohio where the variant was invented. <laughs> Tournaments Diplomacy is played at a number of formal tournaments in many nations. Most face-to-face -face diplomacy tournaments longer than one day are associated with either a diplomacy-centered convention such as DIPCON or DIXICON or a large multi-game convention such as the Origins Game Fair or the World Board Gaming Championships. Some conventions are centered on the games and have a highly competitive atmosphere, others have more focus on meeting and socializing with other players from the postal or email parts of the hobby. Topic. Tournament play In some tournaments, each game ends after a specified number of game years, to ensure that all players can play in all rounds without limiting the tournament structure to one round per day. At other events, a game continues until a winner is determined or a draw is voted. Tournaments in Europe are generally played with a specific end year whereas tournaments in North America more often are played until someone wins or a draw is agreed. Major championship tournaments The World Diplomacy Convention WDC or World Dipcon is held annually in different places in the world. The winner of WDC is considered to be the world champion of diplomacy. WDC was first held in 1988 in Birmingham, England, and was held at two-year intervals before becoming an annual event. WDC's site moves among four regions, North America, Europe, Australasia, and the rest of the world, with a requirement that successive WDCs are always held in different regions. The North American Diplomacy Convention DIPCON, is held annually in different places in North America, to determine the North American champion of diplomacy. DIPCON was first held in 1966 in Youngstown, Ohio. DIPCON's site rotates among West, Central, and East regions. The European Diplomacy Convention Euro -Dipcon is held annually in different places in Europe, to determine the European champion of diplomacy. Over a dozen other countries hold face-to-face -face national championship tournaments. Other major face-to-face -face tournaments Many of the larger multi-game conventions, such as the World Board Gaming Championships, Gen Con, Origins, ManorCon, TempleCon, and Dragonflight also host diplomacy tournaments. On occasion, WDC or DIPCON will be held in conjunction with one of these conventions. In addition, many of the larger local and regional clubs host tournaments on an annual basis and always encourage visitors from the local area as well as any travelers from around the globe. Major play by email tournaments The play by email field is constantly changing. There are numerous tournaments generally associated with different websites. 
As of 2008 there were no official events sanctioned by the manufacturer Wizards, Avalon Hill. There have been and continue to be events with various sizes and self-designated titles such as World Masters – Every two years in the World Masters email tournament composed of both team and individual events Diplomacy World Cup – Modeled after a soccer World Cup, players are in teams competing by countries, there have been two World Cups so far and a third is underway. The first took place 2007-9 and was won by France, the second 2010-12 and was won by Ireland, and the third version started in January 2013. Winter Blitz – The fourth annual Winter Blitzies became open to join in 2011. Other ways to play Despite the length of face-to-face -face diplomacy games, there are people who organize ad hoc games, and there are also various clubs that have annual tournaments and monthly club games. To overcome the difficulty of assembling enough players for a sufficiently large block of time together, a play-by-mail game community has developed, either via postal or internet diplomacy, using either humans to adjudicate the turns or automatic adjudicators. Topic. Postal play and postal hobby Since the 1960s, diplomacy has been played by mail through fanzines. The play-by-mail hobby was created in 1963 in carbon-copied typed flyers by John Boardman in New York, recruiting players through his science fiction fanzine Knowable. His flyers became an ongoing publication under the Graustark title, and led directly to the formation of other zines. By May 1965 there were eight diplomacy zines. By the end of 1967 there were dozens of zines in the USA, and by 1970 their editors were holding gatherings. In 1969, Don Turnbull started the first UK-based diplomacy zine, Albion. By 1972, both the USA and UK hobbies were forming organisations. In the 1980s, there were over 60 zines in the main list of the North American zine poll, peaking at 72 zines in 1989, and there were nearly as many in the major zine poll of the British part of the hobby. In the 1990s and 2000s, the number of postal diplomacy zines has reduced as new players instead joined the part of the hobby that plays over the internet via email or on websites. In April 2010, Graustark itself ceased publication. As of 2011, there are only a few active postal zines published in the USA, one each in Canada and Australia, and several in the UK and elsewhere. In order to reduce postage and printing costs, as well as for environmental reasons, several zines e.g. Western Front, Maniac's Paradise are distributed to subscribers via emailed links to the zine's web page when a new issue appears, or are emailed out as PDF files, for subscribers to read on screen, or print out as they choose. Some zines maintain a dual existence as paper and digital publications. Topic. Online Diplomacy has been played through email on the Internet since the 1983 debut of the Armchair Diplomat on CompuServe. From 1986 to 1990, Peter Shimonik started and moderated dozens of simultaneously running online diplomacy games on the Genie Network with hundreds of players worldwide. This later included the first online Colonia variant games and later branched into and gave birth to Jim Dunnigan's related Hundred Years War online multiplayer wargame. Adjudication by computer started in 1988. A multitude of play-by-email communities and online tournaments were developed over the coming years, and recent online diplomacy sites also allow entirely web-based games of diplomacy, in addition to email and web-adjudicated games. Numerous variations, ranging from player numbers and slight differences such as placing an extra Italian fleet in Rome to entirely fictitious maps set in worlds from pop culture exist, played with either messaging servers or forums, often hosted by the diplomacy sites themselves. There are also apps available for mobile devices, one is named Conspiracy, that is made to play just like Diplomacy. It is developed by Badfrog Team. Another app named Subterfuge is a more modern adaptation of Diplomacy. <laughs> <laughs> Diplomacy computer games Avalon Hill released a computer game version of Diplomacy in 1984 for the IBM PC. 
Computer Gaming World in 1994 described it as a flop. Hasbro Interactive released a computer game version of Diplomacy in 1999 under the Microprose label, and developed by Meyer, Glass Interactive. A major fault, like with the Avalon Hill version, was that the computer AI was considered poor, one reviewer remarking, "...gamers of any skill level will have no trouble whatsoever wailing on the computer at even the highest difficulty setting." Paradox Interactive released a new computer version in 2005, which was given negative reviews, partly due to the odd grunts the game used to express the reactions of the AI players during the movement phase. None of the computer games supported either text or voice chat, which limited the possibilities for complicated alliances. Reception Larry Harris commented, I am convinced that Alan Kalhamer's masterpiece should be part of every high school curriculum. Don't tell the kids, but it teaches history, geography, the art of political negotiation, and something else some healthy critical skepticism. By the time you get into high school, you have a pretty good idea that not everyone always tells the truth. But a good game of diplomacy helps you to understand how skillful some people can be at fooling you." Diplomacy was inducted into the Academy of Adventure Gaming Arts and Design Adventure Hall of Fame in 1994. See also Diplomacy World Internet Diplomacy Lepanto Opening Slobovia